Silly game, you don't reload portals. You have infinite ammo. Actually, you don't actually, do you? It's not... That joke doesn't make any sense. These little shits come out one at a time. That looks safe. <laughs> Wait. There was a chamber in there. With like buttons and stuff? This next chamber should really test your observation skills. Take a good look around first and then decide what to do and in which order. I literally do that every chamber. Was I not supposed to be doing that every chamber? Uh. Huh. I don't know. There's definitely a. It wasn't just an empty box that had stuff in it, but that might have just been attention to detail of making it look like a chamber. And, but it's not necessarily a secret you can reach. You're usually pretty on rails when you're flying around. Why, hello. Do do boom. Such plentiful portals. Clean future portal. Oop. Laser. <clears throat> Cube that puts out a laser go here? Seems to be what they're saying. The use of hints is a little surprising when they happen. Okay, so though that's a portal spot. Bit of an odd looking one. There's a laser up there. Who knows what's going on with that little like divot? Another laser up here. Two like launching. Like tilted to launch. Oh god, there's a whole floor up there. Don't think I can reach it. Not like that, at least. There's a lot going on in here. Okay, so there's... A bounce teleporter. When you want to launch something. Okay. So if you put that on one of these, you'd get launched up there pretty easily. But you'd have to get up there somehow. Which would create straggles. You can't put the time portal on the ceiling for some reason. Not that I'd really see how it would help, because I can't get up there in the first place to jump into it. And then it would just bounce me back in the same place. Like, I can't use that to get from place to place. I'm not really sure. Like, how do I. Yeah, I really need to be able to get up on top of there. Maybe with the. If I had the laser box, I could jump on the laser box and jump up there. And then fly up there. Wherever the laser box is. Um, let's see. I don't see a butt. Um, right. <laughs> I was looking at. I was looking too far away for everything and not taking in the thing right in front of me. So does this let me get up there? Nope. They made it too high. What's that sound? Oh, that's the sound of you regenerating every time I move that slightly. That one's tilted, that one's not tilted. What's up with that? Are they close? They're not they're not close enough to do this. Oh god. Also, this is upside down. Did I fix it yet? <laughs> not uh not really. I think they... I think this just forces this to be facing a certain direction. The way that it locks into place in the middle. Okay. I've done a lot of observing, but what have I actually learned? <laughs> That's the fun question right now. Let's see. I could probably do something really stupid with this. What's up? 
Anyway. Get on the ground. Here's the past one. Also with a button, but it doesn't... Because there's no jump pad in this timeline. This thing looks like it still works in this world. Yep, 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 yep. That's... Da, da, da. They're both tilted in this timeline in the future. Whereas one of them is perfectly vertical in the past. Lasers are turned off. Things are all around disabled. What is up here? Because I could look around via this at least. So I'll put a laser there to open that door. Put a laser there to open that door. Okay. And over there is a laser, is a cube sign for some reason. Not totally sure what that even means. I'm not sure how much we'll use the future, but at the very least we probably need this second cube. Granted, I don't know if I'll need it in the, t in the past or the future, but uh, we need to bounce those lasers around. Those two lasers need to go into those two doors, supposedly. Uh, which raises a few problems. Let's see, let's line up with the pattern. There. So laser height's like that high. Just two cubes up. Okay, so this portal's really this portal's pretty low compared to that laser, so I don't think that laser can even go into that portal very well. Here. And that one's tilted. And that's way higher. So the that laser can't be redirected to that ledge. Because they're not level. Let's see. Oof. What am I going to do here? Right, so they allow me to use that for time. But like that's not really helpful. God, where do I even start? I can put a portal up there, but why? Let's see. Hmm. Like I would want to bounce off of there. God damn. I can't even figure out how to start this one. Like, this one has... Like, the go-to the go -to example of what you'd go for is, like, put a portal there, put a portal there, hop on the thing, go, wee, I'm up there now! But, like, I can't get up there. And I don't think I can even really stack the boxes to fix that. Like, one is not enough, but two... I don't know, you might be able to really jankly stack them, but I think the moment this one gets pushed around by you bumping into it, it's going to make despawn the other one anyway. Hmm. Hey! I should have thought of that a lot faster than I did. I should have thought of that a lot sooner than I did. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little out of practice on Portal. <laughs> yep. Hey! Take me. Take me. Ah, I'm somewhere. Yep. D yep. We did it. We're good. Ow. <laughs> oh. 
But why? So like, yeah, fire your lasers there! But why? I still have yet to solve how I'm supposed to reach the second floor beam spots. So far we are unsuccessful. Let's take a look up there again. Like, I have to shoot, like, straight across to get there. How's that gonna work from a diagonal portal? Well, let's apply what we've learned. Uh... Orange portal has to change? No, blue portal has to change. <laughs> Gotta do the math for a second there. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Boop. Ah. Mmm. Okay. Now it all makes sense. You little bitch. <laughs> it won't even line up for me, huh? God, you really have to get that aim that aiming down. That could get really frustrating. Okay. So this is actually a reasonably easy level. Let's see, changing the blue. Ow. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm not gonna love the part where I have to perfectly line up both cubes in one run, otherwise I have to start over. Because now I go and get the other one Which raises its own problems. Wait. Oh no, I can just reset this one. Okay. I'm like, I can't get up there because there's no bounce pad. But no, this is fine. I'll just re I just reset this one. Wait. Du bist nicht diagonal. Uh. Look at him go. And then failure. Ha. Ah. How am I going to get you up there to also point you here, right? Like, the portal up there is between those two spots, so it has to go vroop and then split between and hit both of them perfectly. And I have to do that while you're not diagonal, so I can't just go up on the other side. So they... They baited me, right? They wanted me to discover this. And get that up there and be like, aha, I understand now. And then you fucking, they're like, oh yeah, you think you have the solution? Well, now do it a different way. And I'm like, but no, I can't. <laughs> that was the one way. What do I make of that? Okay. Because we've established that in the future this one is diagonal. So now that I know that one's there, I can just do this in the future. Dick. 
Okay. But... Uh... Well, there's no bounce pad in the future, which complicates things a bit. It sure does. Okay, so... I need both of them to be... I guess I don't need you at all, but I need that one to be there. It's getting a little complicated. So... Uh... Um, how does this work? So go up to there, and then come out of there, but in this timeline, but that, we're sure I can't put the time, yeah, I can't put a time vortex there. It's getting hard to think about. Um, fire it up out of there, then shoot it from somewhere to somewhere else. Where can I fire it out of where it'll reach a green vortex? Is blue still up here? Maybe it won't matter? I'm... Pretty unclear. ATM. Bro. Shit. It has to go up there, right? Uh, can I just throw it in? Just right? No, it goes too far, so it doesn't land on that at all. So I was thinking maybe go through there and then bounce up there, but, you know, it would arrive in the other timeline. Shit. I thought I got it. I thought I had a breakthrough. But it has to launch into a green. Get into the other timelines upstairs. Which, like... This arc, we've already established this arc is bad. It doesn't get up there. But I thought maybe it would land there. The alternative might be places like that. But, like, it's not pointing at an, uh, another spot. It's like... Wh where do I... Fuck. Where do I get to the other dimension? Nothing's pointing at anything. So none of the places I can spring off feel like they go anywhere? What happens if I... Do something like this... This bounces over and over again, right? And it's in the air for a long time... What if I make that green? Is it even slightly... I mean, now it's just going into the air in the other dimension, but still not reaching anywhere? And it's gonna get less high each time, right? It's going pretty high. Ugh! I can't... It's frustrating that I can't easily get around. You can't escape it very well. Well, I could, I could do it from here, though. 
But I have to know the timing, I guess. Hmm. Sup? Um. <laughs> I did it. I got it up there. Uh. I can't do that with me, can I? Can I? That seems really hard. Like, really hard. Like, really hard. And then if this isn't aimed perfectly, then I have to do it all over again, because if I move that one, that one resets, which is really frustrating. Mm hmm. This one's breaking my brain a little bit. This... I don't know if my current plan is of, like... Accurate, estimated difficulty, or what. Okay, huh? Okay. So... Uh, uh, nope. Gah. Gah. Goohoo! Okay. I did it with myself. This is absurd. Is this the intended solution or am I fucking crazy and genius and shit? I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna try really hard to center this, but like, here's the problem. This is a different angle than this, and I don't know which one's the right angle. Shit. Whatever, I've solved it. I can do that again. I'll figure it out. For now, I need to go up there again, which we've now established what to do, at least. Work on the first try. I'm just saying they could have given me like a little bit more of like a guiding line or something because it really sucks to do all this then be like no the angles wrong I'm like how do you know what the fucking angle is there's so much wiggle room of where you, you could it could go and you can't even see the target while you're doing it oh well all right time to do the most intense move I've ever done again because I'm so good at this game I'm so talented look at my amazing skills just do okay so I do orange then green. Ba Boom. Uh. Okay, so blue, green, orange. Ah. It's reflexes and timing. You have to get like this whole idea down of what you think you're even got to, uh, trying to accomplish and hope you've nailed all that because if you make one wrong click the whole thing starts over sup so this will be blue It's working. It's you working. Are the first test subject to ever make it to this point. In fact, you are the first test subject to ever survive a trip to the future at all. Oh. Well, damn. I was going to pat myself on a back on the back for succeeding. I'm like, "Wow, look, I'm the first person to ever beat that puzzle." You know what? It was pretty hard. I I I agree. They're like, "Oh, it's cuz everyone else just I don't know, atomizes or some shit." It's cool, I don't need self-esteem anyway. Throw it in the garbage. That's for rubes. I think I reinstalled on my... I think I reinstalled Portal 2. On my SSD. Did that improve the loading times? Let's find out. Actually, I have no idea how the loading times work in this game, given that it's two separate games. That was pretty fast. 
It says it requires Portal 2, which might just be like a rights thing. These light bridges are great for traversing over deadly ground. As with the lasers, you will often only have one of these at your disposal. So use them wisely. I don't know, chime in people that know, like that are, that are experts in the comments about how this game works. Like, does this game actually use assets from Portal 2 by calling to your Portal 2 install folder and, re and reading stuff from it? Or does it just require you to own Portal 2 because, you know, there's just a legal thing of like, hey, wow, another Portal 2 expansion, another, two Portal, another Portal 2 fan game, but like, we can't have you like play a fan game of Portal 2 without you owning Portal 2. Like, a standalone free-to-play thing would be, that's an expansion to a thing, like, having you not have to have the Portal 2 in the first place would be a little weird, on like a certain legal way. Granted, who's enough of a fan to be playing free-to-play expansions to Portal without owning the original game? I don't know. Wow, this, this intro to the Light Bridge is really familiar. I feel like I've been here before. The Light Bridge is back. Can't wait to see how this destroys my brain. The Light Bridge was always a little weird because it's like a little like... I didn't actually use it here. I could have just walked across. But yeah, it's a little bit of a reverse brain thing where you do really strange maneuvers. So now doing it in a different timeline? That's going to be crazy. This is the tutorial level, though, so it's probably not that bad, right? Maybe? I'm betting that... The core idea is the fact that you don't have access to this light bridge in the future, right? It stopped, it stopped working. Now I'll go backwards through the world into the previous levels. <laughs> But in the future... But that's likely the whole point of this, is that the, uh, the light bridge probably just doesn't work in the future. So you need to send it elsewhere. The default position's bad, though, because it just sends it back to that receptacle. But in the future, which is just a dead end, so... Well, we will be using that somewhere. It's not gonna be like that. Welcome to a confusing number of portals. So this spot dumps a cube over and over again. That's where the light bridge is going, so you'd want to have a an other end like here. There you go. Yeah, let's ignore the future for now. And deal with just like this part that's kind of like just testing our basic knowledge of how to get a, a companion uh, through a sequence like this. Like, you remember how to do this, right? Let's find out. This was like a whole thing in the Preve games. And yeah, like, it was. They even set it up so it's impossible to recreate how I got here. Because I'd have to jump in the air somehow and land on a bridge coming out of that higher location. Because they made me drop here. And that's impossible to do with a cube. It's already kind of hard enough. It's not that hard without, a, without the cube. But with the cube, it's impossible. So that forces you to realize that you don't have to backtrack whenever you do light bridge puzzles like this. It's like a checkpoint that comes with you. Like, each step of the way you're going one step deeper, but it always, the portal that you're using to get the light bridge always takes you back to the origin of the light bridge. Which means you don't have to actually backtrack through any of the light bridge platforming sections. Which is always like a kind of a, like a neat detail of these kinds of puzzles. I always dug that shit. So now we have a second cube. Don't have to save that one, which probably isn't even getting dumped over and over again anyway. So now we work on the actual solution. There's no light bridge here. What else? What's different about these two places? I need to observe the rest of the chamber more first. Got a streak up there, something up there. Blip. Ah, uh, companion cube goes on a bouncer and it flies somewhere, probably that way, I guess. Maybe that way, like into a portal there. Maybe it flies out of somewhere there to go somewhere else. Uh, either there's a button somewhere. Can I see anything? 
I guess I can go up here. That's a button. Isn't that the bounce pad icon? They must be saying that the bounce pad takes the cube there. Or maybe it creates the bounce pad? I'm a tad confused. Because, like, that's the... That's not a button. That's not a button either. That's also... Yeah, that's a button. They're both buttons. But the icon doesn't indicate a button. The icon indicates a launcher. What's up there? Okay, so we know the back of this lighting fixture has portal spots. Which would be a way to get onto up there. Probably both with me and my cube. Assuming I need to press a button? Maybe not. So there's two buttons. You appear to open the door, and you, which is that, appears to disable the field. So I'll need to disable the field in order to get a cube into there. How do I disable the feud, the field? And then move the cube. Wait. Do I need to get a... Uh, f what is going on? Do I need to get a cube into there? Is, isn't the button opening the door? So what is disabling the field for? If that is what it is. I don't know. I often don't love the level of, like, kind of guesswork. I feel like you have to kind of guess what the hell's going on in these levels sometimes. Let's see. Let's see what... Let's start poking around and seeing if I... Whoops! Damn it. Well, that sucks. That's my fault. I went into the green portal, mixing them up. But that's just a little busy work to fix that. Let's get the green portal the hell away from here so I don't make that mistake again. Right, this one. Let's try to figure out what the hell this stuff does, even. That's, that's interesting, because that's a trigger right there. Ah, uh, there's a second one. Still not entirely clear. And what's going on over there? It lifts it back into the air. Let's take a closer look. So there is a floor over here. I don't see a dotted line that indicates how to get rid of the other lock. Is this button the other lock? But the button seems to be tied to this instead. Alright, uh. It's time for me to straggle. I don't know why I did that. It's fine. Let's see. Can't really get up there. So let's try putting this portal here. Maybe in the past, with a new set of two portals, I can actually do some exploring. Because I just I can't get a good look around.
What is going on there? So this button's being pressed in the future and the past. But I could go get that cube. Let's go get the cube in this timeline. Okay, it's not falling off. Now I can at least look. Because if I walked through, it would have disabled my portals and dropped me. So here's the second button. And like, there is... So now that I've gotten up here, I, now I want that guy back, basically. Right? How am I gonna get him back? Because now he's down there. Maybe just by moving... Maybe just by moving the cube? In the future- the past? That would reset the cube in the future? Maybe. I'm really trying to be really careful here because if I press any- if I press anything I have to start over. Portal-wise. But I could use the other cube to reset the location of this one. And if I have a portal in this timeline that's behind here, that I don't have to go back. Then to resell everything. But the problem is if I use my port my my left and right portals in the other timeline, these ones will reset. So the only one I can keep is the green one. So this could just be my back door into Possibly. This could just be my back door into accessing this room in the past. Hmm. So now I should be able to go to the same place now and get this one. Good thinking. Wow. With all this talk about time travel, do you ever question the meaning of it all? Do your actions have any consequences? Or are we all just following the deterministic path of the universe? That's the fastest I've solved a puzzle in a while, actually. Yeah. I kept... Even while I was in the middle of solving it, I was kind of convinced there was another wrinkle coming or there was another step or another reason I'd be wrong but that's actually it's a fun experiment listen carefully the next thing you will do is jump in three two one it okay. appears that nothing is predetermined or in any way predictable that's not what that means Predetermined is not based around whether or not I'm going to follow your commands. That's not what predestination means. I could have been predestined to ignore your dumbass bullshit. Haha. <laughs>